Welcome back everybody. So guys, in this lecture we're going to talk about what in this course they become a complete full stack web developer beginner to advanced course. In this course as you can see from the title that uh, you're going to become a complete full stack web developer and you need to be a beginner. You do not need to be uh, uh, on advanced level. So from the beginner we are starting. So absolutely we are starting from the HTML. So what's an HTML? We are starting from the uh, code editor. What is a code editor and how we can work on it and then we'll be talking about the what is html what are tags different heading tags structure and commenting html lists and different kind of elements of the html means the base of a website any any web project the base of the any web project is html so we'll be talking about the html very first and right after the html we will be talking about the css the difference between the html and the css is html is a rendering language and css is a styling sheet means we use html for rendering anything like you just want to render the image you want to render the some kind of text or the heading or anything you use the html and to design that we use the css means cascade is style sheet so after the css we'll be talking about the js the javascript and what is javascript javascript is something really interesting and in a javascript we'll be talking about uh, the programming language the difference between the javascript and the html is if you put 2 plus 2 in html it will be 2 plus 2 in result but if you just put the 2 plus 2 in javascript because it's a programming language it will show you 4 that means it's you it used the mathematic technique so this is why the javascript is a programming language and it works and it's a dynamic language by the way the difference between the rendering or the static language and a dynamic language is if you just open a web page you can have different screen and the same web page with same link your friend opens it can have a different screen but the javascript is, is a client side language and php or the many different kind of languages we have which are the server side languages by the way right after the javascript you'll have the bootstrap and a bootstrap is a framework based on html css and the javascript and if we use the bootstrap uh, because we, we do not want to put a lot of time in designing a web page uh, a kind of base of a web page at least so we use the bootstrap tips or the bootstrap classes we just simply put the bootstrap elements to design to use the ready-made designs of the bootstrap or the ready-made grids of the bootstrap it's a really interesting thing you love it if you just want to become a designer without learning complete designing by the way after that, we'll be talking about the React. What is the React? React is a kind of uh, uh, is the framework again, and uh, it based in JavaScript, and it help uh, helps us to get the live real time updates. And uh, React uh, is React is based on uh, is based in JavaScript and made by Facebook developers, and they're using it on the notification bar of the Facebook for now, and we'll be learning about that by the way. And then we'll be talking about the OOP a little bit, then the Laravel. Laravel is something uh, really interesting and really important in this course because we we mainly focusing Laravel in this course. Using the Laravel, we will be actually making a complete web application from the zero to hero. We'll be learning a lot of uh, uh, parts of web, de web development in Laravel, like we'll be making an e-commerce uh, application the basics of Laravel, then e-commerce application there, and then the, you can see that the mini project task list app and the admin panel, and uh, you can see that it's the admin panel authentication, the section number 10. Then we'll be talking about the front end, the front end of the project, of the Laravel project, fetching data from the Laravel, then template configuration, then front end user registration and sign-in options, EDC. Then the shopping cart definitely if you just if you're just making the e-commerce we need the shopping cart and check out in a stripe means the payment controllers and payment methods and this is all we'll be talking about then some final touches this is the course all about now you can really understand from zero to hero we are trying to make you uh, a complete full stack web developer from basic to advanced so this is all the course all about stay tuned and goodbye